three tuberculosis friends gathered at their local diner for coffee and the breakfast special. Three remnants of their species' glory days, when tuberculosis was one of the most feared bacteria in the world. Their conversation centered on the shocking death of their friend Jerry's human. Jerry's human had died in a car crash, and Jerry only just had time to spread to one of the hospital's nurses before he would have been thrust into the wild and deadly hellscape of a morgue, where chemicals or cremation would have been a death sentence. Close call, Jerry. How's your new human treating you? She has a cough. You don't think... I don't know. Calm down, Jerry. Nothing's for certain. The cough could have nothing to do with you. It could be one of those menaces, a common cold virus. I know, I know. I'm just stressed, Bert. We've all been there. But Bert had not, in fact, been there. Bert had had the same human carrier his entire life. George, on the other hand... Look, there's no point in fretting over it. Either your human is developing symptoms, or they ain't. Just keep an eye out, and don't be one of those idiots who are too stubborn to jump a sinking ship. I got out while I still could, when my human a few humans back developed symptoms. I wasn't sticking around to find out what antibiotics tasted like. I forgot about those young punks. Well, it's old timers like us who will live to see the end of antibiotics. Oh, don't start on all the antibiotic resistance crap again. There's no way the humans won't come down on it hard. No, I'm serious. It was just in the tuberculosis times how another human tried to kill off their tuberculosis but the tuberculosis resisted the antibiotics. The human even died. That right there is why the humans will never sit this out quietly. When they decide to get their act in gear, they'll just churn out new antibiotics. Which takes a decade to develop. By that time, the resistance genes will be as common as candy. We'll all be superbugs, unkillable. George has a point, Bert. We should look into getting some of these resistance genes. It can't hurt. No, I'll tell you what it will hurt. Living your best life. You spend all your energy maintaining a resistance gene, and you've got nothing left for anything else. Better or worse life than no life at all. I told you, jump ship. Easy enough for you to say. What happens if my next human's immune system is too strong and kills me? Huh? What then? Ugh, do what you like. Let's check out the gene depot from the tuberculosis times. We can pick up a resistance gene from there. Let's go.